Oi, oi, everybody. It's Cockney Buddha, and it's all about getting real. Getting real with the Cockney Buddha. I hope everybody's starting their week off well. It's a Monday. It's hot here in Florida. Even though we have had some storms come in. This one's all around character. How did I get the name Cockney Buddha? And how do I use it as part of the character? It's a blessing, let me tell you, and I've been using it more and more seriously. Because it's something that can really help you out. It's all about your character. So I hope this week work is uh, starting out all right. And I kind of messed that one up a little bit, didn't I? Week work? Don't I mean work week? Either way, it's all the same, right? It's all about getting real. And I do this for a living. I am a, I have a certification in counselling. So come and check out how I got that name, Cockney Buddha, right? How did I get there? And some of you know, especially those that know me well know, and uh, how it all, how it all pretty much started, and what you can do to help yourself as well with with this. What I'm going to tell you about today with character, and the way it started for me was the way I was. I actually had a website going. I have a website out there, Mind and Nutrition for All. Uh, dot dot com. Uh, go and check it out. Mind and Nutrition, the number four all a l l. dot com. Go and check it out. It's a website out there. I've got ton of blogs on there. I've got fifty plus. Um, blogs on there so go and check that out because there's a, there's some good ones on there there's one called sos i think you'd really uh like and there's another one be the oak which is uh one i put out there which got a lot of uh got a lot of traction so go and have a read go and have a look at that but when i first started that out i knew i wanted to go in a direction of uh getting my name out there getting things going helping other people in the process and um just starting of the you know starting the journey basically and uh not that it was anything basic about it blimey but uh, <laughs> but um when i started writing up I, I got a blog out there and i had a mate me mate paul big shout out to paul oh yeah right. big shout out shout out to paul from london and um i actually met him in my backyard believe it or not literally like a house behind and two houses over and they moved in there and i met him there but he was he lived about 20 minutes <laughs> bermondsey boy he used to, li he used to live about 20 minutes away from where i used to live in london crazy but met him here in in uh, in the us but he was the one that named me <laughs> um he he was here and said like let me let me have a look at your site so he was sitting in here checking things out and and uh, i went off you know mate cut rosy and came back in with a rosy and he looked at me and he said your grammar sucks and i'm like yeah yeah all right yeah yeah <laughs> i know <laughs> i know i wind my i wind my therapist up all the time big shout out to judith love you uh, but i wind her up all the time because she's, she's an english major and my grammar like you know what i mean I mean, I'm, no, I'm, I'm like the furthest away from an English major you can imagine. <laughs> uh, shit. But anyway, he, he gets he gets seven a he gets seven a read. Says my grammar sucks, but he goes, you know what though, you can write. And I appreciated that because it's he uh, he's really big on the grammar and English and all that as well. And 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 he goes, you can write. And I'm like, oh, all right, sweet. And um, and then he and then he starts saying you need something to catch you need something catchy. He's going. I remember standing in there going, yeah, okay, what? And he's like, you need it like a, you need something to go to, you know, like a like a um like a profile or something like that. 
And he goes, hmm, you, you, oh, you ordered, you ordered freaking Cockney Buddha. And that was it. Bosh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, hold up. Sweet, isn't that? I'll take that. <laughs> but it grew into way more than that. It grew into, I mean, it's part of now. It is literally, I I answer to it. Um, I love being called it, it. And I know why now. I know why I really have taken to it a lot. Because my other nickname, I didn't. <laughs> um, I answered to it and all that, but it wasn't a it wasn't a cool nickname at all. It was derogatory. It was like you know, it wasn't it wasn't a cool nickname, but you know, it just became it became part of. But um, I've I've pulled away from that completely. That that nickname, and uh, I've embraced this. What I've been graciously by my mate Paul <laughs> crowned with. And uh, and before anybody goes off and bleeding, you know, loses their bleeding wig as far as, you know, cockneys and all that shit. I lived the I didn't live far from the bloody East End. All right, you've got to be born in the East End. And not only that, you've got to be born within the sound of the Bow Bells. Because if you're not, then they, then they say you're not the actual true cockney. But, you know, hey-ho. <laughs> right? But I lived the cry. I talked the same... You know, all right, they, they back in the day, the slang was crazy back years and years ago. And I wasn't living in the East End, obviously, but I was, I was born and brought up in the South East. And um, but anyway, before, because I've had it before, I was on a bloody live and so, well, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to prove? Blimey. Um, but anyway, so so that it stuck, and I started to not you not even realizing it. It like became the name at the start of my journey, and I've what I've noticed I've done is I've pulled everything because it represents it does it Buddhism and. You know, I don't follow any one thing. I'm, I'd say I'm part of everything because you know, I follow so many different things and Buddhism and Hindu and Taoism and, you know, something comes walking in front of my path and, I, you know, I don't even know, have to know what really it is. But if I'm hearing something I'm liking, I'm like, mm, what's that? I want to know about that. And then I just take that on board as well if it makes sense. If not, keep up, keep walking. If it does, then I'm like taking it on. So I don't class myself as any one thing. And I had an upbringing where I was, you know, yeah, I was christened. Yeah, I was, you know, do I believe? Yeah, you know, then I believe is, you know, but we ain't getting into religion. I'm part of everything. I really do. I really do believe it. Since, especially since I've been on this journey, even more so since I've been on this journey. Because there's no, there's no judgment or anything like that. Everybody's allowed to be whoever they want to be. As long as you're not pushing it and trying to, you know, tell someone that they're wrong for being who they are and then trying to shove your own agendas, then there's a problem. <laughs> but um, be who you want to be, right? But uh, so I, I built this, uh, I built, I've been, not realising, but I've been building around this, this character of Cockney Buddha. In fact, I don't even I don't even know if I class him as a character now. I think it's just it, it is. <laughs> That's who I am now. And there's been many times in sessions with my own therapist where I'm like very confused, or there's something going on, or I'm not sure which way to turn, or the anxiety's like buzzing around, and and she's looked at me straight up and said, "What would Cockney Buddha do?" And I snap into it, and it bloody helps. <laughs> Let me tell you. So the thing to do is, you know, you want to sit down and think about where you want to go within, with yourself. What characteristics do you want? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be known as? What sounds right to you? What pieces do you want to get rid of? What's the pieces, parts you want to leave behind? What do you want to create? How do you want to create? Who do you want to become? And build it. Build it. Make it in to the direction you want to go in. 
I remember walking into when I, when, you know, before before the old uh, before the old big C came about. <laughs> I'm not even going to say the word. Um, I was going into my therapist's office, and I remember walking in there. I hadn't been in therapy that long, and I was starting the journey. And I was starting to realise, hang on a minute, there's changes here to be done and one thing the other and starting to dabble around. And and then I, I remember walking into her office, sitting down, sitting opposite her and saying, I've stepped out of old Steve. And she looked at me like, what? And I, f- I, I, don't, I can't remember if I closed my eyes. I probably did. I probably closed my eyes and meditated a bit or did a bit of breath work or something. But I saw myself stepping... Oh, out of old Steve and into a new. I didn't have the Cockney Buddha then, really, if I remember rightly. I don't think I had it then. Otherwise, I would have stepped from that old Steve into Cockney Buddha because that's where I've gone. And, um, you know, people call me Cockney, people call me Buddha. You know, it, it, it's really... And it's really become something that it, it, it I've in, completely embraced it. And... It really does help when you're in those moments in your own head and you're thinking, oh, my God, because it could be that could be a younger generation of you thinking. It could be a trauma that you're in and you and, and where you're at within it, you can't think clearly because you're being the either a smaller you or you now or the the controlled and manipulated you or the the, the the you that has trouble making the choices and the decisions and things like that, well, you transfer that over and all of a sudden I become the Cockney Buddha. Oh, we don't do any of that. Somewhere to go now. He don't, it, Cockney, Buddha's got the, Cockney Buddha's the one that knows what to do. Cockney Buddha's that one. Cockney Buddha is the one that will go, all right, time to step up. Okay, let's take care of that. Okay, you need to pause right now. Okay, let's take a rest right here. Okay, let's push. It it it's turning to something that can help you with the clarity of the new you. Let's put it that way. Help you with the clarity of seeing the new you, the new path, the new journey. You turn to that over and over and over again until it's a record. Until all of a sudden, like I have just started doing within the past few months, really starting to embrace it. I'm starting to recognize people calling me the name. I'm starting to recognize the characteristics of it and how important it really is to me. I'm starting to recognize and become aware of the times when my therapist has laid it out there and all of a sudden it's switched me on. Things can be clouded and misted in the times, those times when we don't see. Just like I, you know, I'm saying to you now that I'm start, just starting to see it. Clouded before became like, I guess it could have been one of those where I might have been looking at it as the nickname, because it is, let's face it, it is the nickname. But maybe I was thinking, ah, oh God, it's another nickname like the other one. It's not. It's completely the opposite end of the other one, completely in a different direction. I don't relate to it. I didn't relate to it then. <laughs> I don't relate to it now. Uh, and it, you know it's uh, it's a walk to walk, talk to talk. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna if you're gonna start a journey, if you're gonna start the character and start building, you walk the walk, you talk the talk, and you move in the ways of whatever that character is sending you on the journey. And I don't mean building a character of negative. Building a character of, you know, cockiness or anything like that. This is this is you being able to work on your mind with the knowings of who you were and what you want to be. And then moving in that direction. Because staying on the same plane as we, you know, we can get stuck. And when we get staying on that same level day in, 
day out, same thinking, same ways, same movements, same directions going to work, same directions to go and visit people, same, visiting the same people at the same times, making the same phone calls. It's, it becomes robotic. It becomes something that we, it's just like, oh, well, that's just, that's just there it is. No, it ain't just there it is. You're making it how it is. You're making it how it is. When we keep ourselves on the same record, the same thing, put a put a piece of music on and keep listening to it, right? You've never heard it before, ever. You've never, ever heard it before. Listen to it the first time. Oh, wow. All right. This is, I've never heard this before. You know, brain's thinking, oh, what's this? Hmm. Trying to make up his mind whether it likes the sounds, figuring it out, everything's new. Awesome. Now keep playing it over and over and over and over and over again, right? All of a sudden you start learning the words. Or you start learning the tune. Becomes a program. That program starts to grow. You keep listening to it, listening. Now you're on the same same thing, day in, day out, listening to it. What happens later on? You start getting bored with it, right? It starts because wearing you down. Why? Why is it starting to wear you down? Why is it starting to become a little bit drab? Like it hasn't got an energy to it, no light to it. Why? Because you're doing it day in, day out, same thing, over and over and over and over again. It's like, it, it's like your mind. And believe it or not, we may stay in, you know, those the anger moments and the anxiety moments and depression and stuff like that. Sometimes we can stay there because that's normal. That's the norm. So the body and the brain are like, yeah, party time. This is this is what you're bleeding, losing your mind. F freaking don't want to be there at all. But it's so used to hearing the same narratives and going in the same directions and picking up on the same belief systems, everything else, that it stays there. Build the character. Yeah. Build the character. Who do you want to be? Name it. As always, guys, thank you for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if I could get my bloody words out right, I'd be talking a lot better, wouldn't I? Go and check out my YouTube channel. It takes a lot of effort from from you guys too to get me up there and supporting me and pushing the name out etc so if you could go and check me out and hit that subscribe button I'd appreciate it look up Cotney Buddha if you like this message you'll like my YouTube channel I'm also out there on Instagram in fact I've got a link tree right there in the description at the bottom go and hit that link tree and you can hook up with me across any of those platforms like I said, I do this for a living. And uh, if you want one-on-one -on -one help or anything like that, you know, I, I, we can work that out. I do all my work through Zoom. So I hope everybody has a good start to their week. And, you know, remember, keep it positive. Remember your character. Keeping it negative isn't going to get you to where you want to be. Have a great week, everybody. Loving each and every one of you. Thank you for the support.